Hey, what is it? Who is Good this? Good afternoon, ma'am. my dear. Yeah, what is it? My name is Anastasia Soko. I saw him by the roadside crying, so I decided to bring him home. You were crying? No, I... See the brother! What did you do to him? I don't know what you're talking about. Is he not a human being? Human beings cry sometimes. So why is his own different? Chile, Chile, what did you do to this? I don't like it. Oh, he is. God bless Everybody has a painful secret the world knows nothing about. Some are even more painful because we just wish it's a nightmare. Only for us to realize it's our reality. And we sometimes want to run away or hide from it. I put it to you that you are emotionally perturbed. And I sense transform of aggression. And what I can't seem to wrap my head around is why you treat this boy with so much hatred. Why so much anger towards your own child, your own flesh and blood? The child of your youth. You. You don't know me. So stop talking like you know me. You're right. I don't know you. But my encounter with you tells me that you are bitter about something. I don't know what it is, but your son is the one feeling the heat. He's too young for that. Way, way too young. All he needs from you is love, care and attention. Sometimes when we talk about the things we go through, it helps us ease the pain and the body. Talk to me. Why would I talk to you about anything? Why? You actually don't have to talk to me. But I advise you talk to someone. I'm a lawyer and a professional counselor. Here is my card. My number is right there. You can call me when you change your mind or whenever you feel like talking. I'm a very good listener and I'm very easy to talk to. Please take it easy on the child. Please. Just be strong. Be family, God knows the best. Be family, God. be Cooking in the kitchen. I hope you don't mind sitting with me. Not at all. <laughs> How would you say that? <laughs> you know, you are now a big city woman. I hope this uh, smoke from the firewood will not be disturbing you. 
No, I might be a city girl, but I haven't forgotten where I'm coming from. <laughs> hmm? This is my route. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> ha! So tell me, my friend, how is school treating you? Mm, it wasn't easy at all, but I thank God for everything. <sighs> Guess what? What? You're talking to the latest graduate in town. <laughs> really? Yes. <sighs> this is good news. Yes. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Uh -uh. Done and dusted. This is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. I, it, you know what? I was in school. Everywhere was just to see some of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you. I'm so impressed. Huh? Thank you. So proud. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you. <laughs> well, I didn't expect anything less from you because I know you have your father's brave. Oh. <laughs> I know you will say that. Eh? When the child does well, the credit goes to the father. Uh, Ugochi, don't be like that. You know that my brother was an intelligent man. You know it. <laughs> If not for condition, I would have no doctor today. Hey. Huh? Hey. A, a doctor? Uh -huh. Or how about list? Nah, a doctor, a doctor. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, your uncle doctor is doctor. Hey. Hey, but mama, don't worry now. Hmm? At least you have a daughter that will soon become a medical doctor. Uh -huh. Oh, you see, don't <laughs> uh, That is my only consolation. That is my only consolation. <laughs> <laughs> If your brother was alive today, he would have put this wonderful day with us. You got you don't worry. Wherever my brother is, I know he's happy. I know he's proud of his daughter. And if he has been alive, he will do everything possible to make sure the daughter acquires university education. And for that, whatever it will cost for Chinelu to complete her university education, I will take care of it. Hey! So oh, good, thank you, God bless you. Thank you so much. Hey. My husband. Hey. Thank you. You're such a big man. You're loving me. You don't need to thank me. My brother loved me so much. I know. I, I love him too. He would have done the same thing for my children. If it's the other way around. Thank you. <sighs> so, my love, thank you. Remember, always remember the good year you have always been. I've studied hard. I trust you. I know you will never do anything that will bring shame to this family. I, I won't. I won't answer that promise. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I'll keep my part. Just do your part. Thank you, mother. So. No, I thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You know what is wrong with you? I said I'm fine. You've been like this for days and you've been You go to nurse. And you can't stand the smell of food. Okay? I can't do this. Oh. Are you pregnant? Pregnant. What for you? 
He better forbid you because your education is at stake. I know what your uncle said. It's written all over you. Eh? The signs of pregnancy is written all over you. You know, they can't even us. Stand there and see us. Mama said they're doing it for that. How did you stand up? Hey, hey, oh, 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 you're holding your breath as one eat him, no? She do eat him, You are pregnant. She do you are pregnant. Can you not say Let's go. She do not say that. She do I saw you as a girl with a very high moral standard. Chinelo, how could you bring this type of shame into this family? I used to see you as a girl with high moral standard. I used you as an example to other children in this family on how best to behave. How could you break our trust this way? How? It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Chinelo, it's a mistake. When you were busy pulling your clothes, spreading your legs, you didn't know that a mistake would bring you disgrace. You know, you are a disgrace. You see, you, I tried my best to train you well, and God will bear me witness. Okay, you will disgrace yourself and not me. You know, yeah? Disgrace. They're called. I should have the shining light of this family. Can you imagine? How can you do this? This is your plan all the way. To go to the university and be flipping around with boys. No member of this family will enter the university with an unwanted pregnancy. We will not tolerate such a shame. So it's obvious whatever you thinking on your head, you are now on your own. And there is nothing I can do about that. The water you poured on yourself is what is making you cold. Oh, Uncle, please. Please don't leave me like this now. I am begging you. Don't do this to me. It was a mistake. Please. Please. Mistake has consequences and you have to bear them. Uncle, please. Hey! Thank you for me. Thank you for me. Just look for yourself. If you hear me, I'll work with you. If you hear me, I'll work with you. When you're busy spreading your legs. Imaro! You want me to beg your uncle? She don't know you are a disgrace. I, I, I knew I trained you well, and God knows I did my best. She don't know your father married me a virgin. Eh? I don't know who you resemble. I'm a rom. I'm a busy puta. I don't know. Eh? She wants to put upon yourself now. University. Mbazi. Mbazi. Stay. Oh God. Eh? Hi. Hi. Yeah? By the way, who is responsible? Eh, Chinelo? Chinelo, who is responsible for this pregnancy? Oh, it's a go. Hi. Chinelo. 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 A penny I'm, for your thoughts? Nothing. Nothing. I'm actually very happy for you. Chinelo. I'm your very good friend. I know you're happy for me. But your tears says otherwise. Hmm? Come here. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? You, you can't along with you much, you have to go. You never got for alcohol. Are you mad? Eh? You have to go. Don't, don't. Don't. Say me. It was just a mistake. Of course this is a mistake. No, what stupid mistake I'm asking you because you can never do anything good in your life. You can never do anything right. Did you see anywhere else to play football? Did you see it? I warned mama about this football. I warned mama about buying football for him. But mama never listens to me. Ah, ah. Mommy, I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. Sorry, so long, Olo. Sorry, kill you there. You are very stupid. Why are you telling me sorry? No, no, no. You are very stupid. She me. No, no, no. Stop it. Idiot. It was just a mistake. The, the boy played the boy at the wrong direction. You will not have to kill her. Of course it is a mistake. Because everything about him is a mistake. Idiot. What? Fool. Uh, Nayo. Come. Hmm? Come. Hey, 
it's okay. Stop crying. Hmm? Oh. I got this for you. I wanted to give you before leaving. But right now, take it. Go inside. I'll talk to you later, okay? Go. Go. Over you. What is wrong with you? Why would you say all this in front of that little boy? That boy ruined my life. That boy made my life stand still. That boy shut up my dreams. I can't believe after all these years you're still holding on to your past. Why are you making it look as if it's this little boy's fault? Why won't you move on? Learn to let go. It is his fault. And how can I let go? When the one thing that reminds me of my past is always before me, staring at me every day. How can I let go? When the one thing that reminds me of my past is always before me, staring at me. Day in, day out. How can I let go? When my, 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 my dreams of attaining greater heights is now a mirage. Now tell me, how can I let go? You're making it look as if it was Naya's fault. None of these things was his fault. His coming into this world was as a result of circumstances. And nobody knows what the future holds in box. As long as oxygen and carbon dioxide still passes through your nostril, it is his fault. Don't even tell me otherwise. It is his fault. Look at you. A graduate. While I am here, a forgotten product of misery. In summer, I had dreams. You know, I had dreams. You know how badly I wanted to go to school, study medicine, and become a medical doctor. In summer, you, 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 you know how, how I burnt midnight candles, studying, reading, day in, day out, researching every day just to make good grades in school. I would have succeeded if that boy did not come along. I mean, I don't even understand it. A lot of married couples are they are barren, looking for children. Why didn't he go to them? Why did he come to me? Did I ask for him? Why did he come to me? Chinelo, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I beg you. I beg you to let go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> you cannot continue to blame that innocent boy for a mistake of two people. <laughs> Chinelo, he didn't choose to be born. And it was not his fault that the so-called father abandoned him. <laughs> Please, let go. Move on. <laughs> Why didn't you, it was not his fault that you opened your legs and got pregnant. Did you come here to mock me? Did you walk into this place to mock me? Chinelo. I am your friend. Chinelo, I love you so much. And I can only tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. I can never mock you. Please, I beg you. Free your mind. It will do you nothing. It will not cost you anything. Move on. I should move on. I should just move on. Why are you saying this as if you have not realized that there is no hope for me? There is no hope. 
No, Chinelo, come on. Come on. There is hope. Okay, don't talk like that. Please. Listen, Chinelo, a friend of mine was told me. Now, once there is life, there is hope. J just look at me. Didn't I fail jam three times? Hmm? I fell jam. Look at me today, I'm a graduate. There's still hope for you. Please, I beg you. Stop all this thing. Hmm? Please. <laughs> 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 It when you cry like this, eh? Do you want to talk about whatever it is? Jam does not mean that you're a failure. Eh? Why are you crying like this now? Like a jam. Do you know what that means? That I won't be going to school all of this year. You can apply for pre-science now. Eh? Or better still, wait and write another jam next year. So what will I be doing a whole of this year? You can learn a skill. My friend, you learn a skill now. See, this, this, this mirror there, skills come in handy. They are very important. There is always hope. You see that my friend Chidi? He told me he wrote jam four times. Four good times. But now, he's doing his masters abroad. He only came back because of his father's ill health. Eh? So you see, just cheer up. As long as there is life. There is hope. So cheer up, my friend. There are plenty of things for you to do. Uh-uh. You can't hey. believe I'm not the entry in university. Oh. But the jamba, these jam people are wicked. <laughs> they are very heartless. After that, I'm not going to go. Ah! It's okay. Eh? Don't kill yourself because of jam. Hmm? In fact, at this point, I advise you to hide this result. Because it's like this time you see it, you start crying. Just hide it so you won't be seeing it. But it's still my results now. Leave that thing as long as you're not seeing it now. Just cheer up. Hmm? Don't bring it out till you want to bath. You want to go? Hmm? Listen, if you really, 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 really want to have that university experience, go and apply for percent. Go to percent. They treat everybody like undergraduates. They go for lectures. Everything university people do, that is what they do. They have a friend that is there. Uh -uh. She's always telling me what is happening there. You want to go? Oh? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. you see, after feeling jam two times, look at me today. I am now a graduate. All I want to let you know is that you should not give up. 
All right? Do not give up. All hope is not gone. It is too late. Just look at me. I am not getting any younger. And my uncle who wanted to sponsor my education has lost faith in me. Sweetheart, it is never too late. Never. You can still go back to school and achieve your dreams. But first, you have to let yourself heal. <laughs> heal. It's, it's not as easy as you make it seem. I know. I know it's not easy. Nothing good comes easy. It's never going to be easy. But you have to take a first step. Do something. Hmm? Whatever happens, I am here for you. Look at me. I will never leave you. Okay? I will always stand by you. Hmm? I will never leave you. I will always stand by you. Okay? Hmm? Don't worry, stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Hmm? Ah, check what you're cooking before you get born. Hmm? Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know, the aroma is nice. What's the occasion? My mother is expecting a visit. Oh, I see. Anyway, I need to add one more visitor. Because I'm here and I will eat that food. <laughs> what it will it be now for me? Of course. I'll eat food. Hmm? That place has been focused in life. Mm -hmm. Very nice. But mm -hmm. it would have tasted better if she cooked with a happier continent. She always frowns as if she carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she did the thing. My countenance is my countenance. A lot for you to worry about. She Mama, don't worry. No. No, I understand. She baby. Baby, me stick, baby. Don't worry. Hmm? I am here now to help you carry your bodies. <laughs> mm. As Jason, hmm? how do you intend to carry my burdens when it is very obvious that your own is weighing you down? <clears throat> See, uh, Chief. I'm just trying to make a joke to help you ease your stress, that's all. But your joke is not funny now, eh? It is very dry. That is why we are not laughing. In fact, your joke is adding to my stress. Listen, let us cut the chase. I know why you are here. And let me tell you, whatever it is that brought you to this place, you have failed. It will not work. So any arrangement you have with my mother, I am not a part of it, oh. I am not a part of it at all. I will never, ever in this life, even in the next life, be interested in you. Umuikime. Never. Ask her my wife again. Chidele, Chidele, go back here. Chidele, go back here. And the word of advice. Next time, when you plan to go to someone's house, do those people a favor and save their noses by taking a pass. Mm. Oh. Then spray perfume. Roll on, deodorant. You can even get the cheap, cheap cheapest ones in our summer markets. Oh, yeah, but I need to fool her. Maybe you're gonna go. You're okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Nah, yeah, yeah. she's not good like this, Biko. Oh. Something is bothering her, Biko. Because now, Hi. Mama, 
Ako GM of twenty for the food. Now, no matter what you want, and the people are only me. Now, this is the one who it is clear that your daughter doesn't love me. And it's not possible for a whole me to keep on pursuing something that will never be. Eh? Okay, if I'm a good man, I don't can get out now. Take any now. Oh, anyway, Biko, oh, don't be offended. Biko, oh, be Adriana, she's not in a good mood. Eh, uh, Biko. Mama, uh, I have tried. Akbani I have tried. See, eh? You see that your daughter, I wish her good luck. Imagine our food you won't get the camera. Look at it, look at it. I'm not here, I'm not here. Now, piano, no. We don't know. Hey, when you were big up, piano. Chinelo, chinelo, I'm going to come here. You can't see the talent. Eh? This is your man. This is your man. This is your man. Talk to your friend. This is talk to your friend, man. Since she has lost the opportunity of going to school, she also wants to lose the opportunity of getting married, considering her condition. Mama, don't worry, eh? I'll talk to her. She'll have a rethink, okay? Don't worry yourself. I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid, though. Don't worry. I'll talk to her. She will come around and definitely marry a husband that will bring back the joy of this family. Hmm? I know that's what you want. Relax your mind. Hmm? Talk to her. No problem. Talk to her. Let me be on my way. Talk to her. Abi. Talk to her. Bye, Mama. Chinelo. Chinelo. What was the meaning of that? What was the meaning of what? Don't answer my question with question. You know what I'm talking about. He has body odor. Uh-uh. Mama only is full eh? I can't believe you, you you are so desperate for me to get married that you you overlooked that fact. They're going to perceive it. Either you see it. You hold thought in every man that comes to seek your hand in marriage. Am I the reason you didn't go to school, Chinin? Eh? Um, I'm not because. Uh, Mama. Please. Don't go there. Don't go there. No. I will go there. Since you brought it up. Eh? Blaming everyone except yourself. What is your problem? What do you expect? Okay. I have heard. I have heard you. Don't come and remind me of my problems. Please. I, I did not say anything, no. But you implied it. Chinelu, it's high time you came back from that high place to place yourself and face reality. A woman is like a flower. Fresh and beautiful in the morning. But when that's in the evening, time is running out. Oh, then I got you. The earlier you get married, the better for you. I need grandchildren. Child, what are you expecting? Eh? If you open your hands to receive gifts from men, also open your legs. And then, yeah? To receive anything they give you. Tell you, look, time is running out. Oh God, it was it. The earlier you get married, the better for you. I need grandchildren. Okay, Nelia? Grandchildren. Legitimate ones. Oh, my, oh my.
boy by your leg. Eh? Come on, walk fast. I know, I know. Fucking cool care like your father. You think that you never walk Yeah, never. Did I not say walk fast? Did you not hear walk fast or you are deliberately trying to delay me? Or say no, mommy. Who is the mommy? Walk fast. You never walk fast. Walk fast. I'm not your mommy. Walk fast. Walk fast. Hey. Come on. Walk fast. I'm not going again, I'm not going again. Your money has expired. How can we identify this information so we can at least get to where we are going to? Get, get to where? Fast! Walk fast before I remove this ear that you don't hear. Come on, stop it! Can't you see you're hurting the boys? Can't you see you're hurting the boy? How is it your business? How is it your business, I'm asking you? It is none of your business how I treat my son, no? Oh, he's your son? And you're treating him that way? Yes, he is my son. And I will treat him however I want without you interfering. Well, ma'am, the fact that he's your son don't give you the right to abuse him like that. Chimu! Chimu, come! Who do you think you are? Well, my name is Anastasia Suko. I am a lawyer and an activist. And I can sue you for physically abusing this poor child and inflicting pain on him. <laughs> oh, you are a lawyer. Like he jerk. Yeah? Stressing the lawyer part as if it's something very important. Ngano, Madam Lawyer, you are going to sue me for disciplining my own son. No, Madam Lawyer, I'm asking you. You will sue me for disciplining my own this son. This is not for discipline, that's torture. Listen, I can see that you are one of those educated people who think that they are better than everyone else. Walking around. Hanging their shoulders as if their sheets don't smell. Poking their noses into other people's businesses. But madam, listen, oh. Whoever you think you are, stay away from my business. Madam, remove your nose from my business. Don't say I did not want you. And don't say I didn't do anything good for you in this life. Wow. Try me. He is my son. Yeah. I can no punk him. If I, I can even took him. Hey, get up! Come back! I'm not finished the demonstration. Hey, get up! Look at him. I am doing what? Hey, hey, get up! Come, come, come back here. Get yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 up! City girl, but I haven't forgotten where I'm coming from. Mm? <laughs> this is my roots. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> ha! So tell me, my friend, how is school treating you? Mm, it wasn't easy at all. But I thank God for everything. <sighs> Guess what? What? You're talking to the latest graduate in town. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <sighs> <laughs> this is good news. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Done. I'm busted. This is cool. <laughs>
I'll show you. Put your hand here. And um, do this. Yes, yes, yes. Let me let it go. Oh. <laughs> 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 See. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes, that is little so beautiful. <laughs> okay. Ready? This is called a tripode.
belajar. Yes, they are. That's because you're beautiful. Huh? Yes, you are very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I should be told, I, I, I like this place. You know, I like this place a lot. It's beautiful. Yes. Very quiet. Yes, That's it the is. one thing I like about it. Yes, it is. Ah, very beautiful. <laughs> I like those shoes. I'll put you over there. You see it? <laughs> yeah, but it's not as near as it looks. That tree is really far. I love adventures. Why don't we go through the bush to that tree? <laughs> I... It, it's fine. Good. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I told you to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I just like the way it makes you feel. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How long have you been here? About an hour. I actually thought you wouldn't make it. Well, um, I'm sorry I was with my father. Oh, yes. It's okay, I, I understand. How is he? He's not getting any better. Oh. At all. Everything that has been done medically to tackle this ailment has failed. It's okay. Don't worry about it. He will be fine. Nothing will happen to him, okay? I hope so. Listen, I, I want to show you something. What? Just wait. Ta -da! Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Do you like it? I love it. I, I want a copy of it. How do I get it? Okay. I will make a copy for you, and then I'll keep this one. I'll use this to remember our love, <sighs> our bond, and everything we share. Hey, you don't have to be afraid, okay? When I said I love you, I meant it. And I promise you, Nothing will ever make me leave you. Are you serious? Of course. Of course I'm serious. And that is because I love you so much. And I want to be with you forever. <sighs> Come here. I love you, okay? I just want to die. I just want to die. Why will you yourself dead, see? Am I not better dead? You can answer me. This thing that I'm living is it life? No. Is it life? No. Enough of this nonsense coming out of your mouth. See? 
I understand what you are making. But it's not the end of the world. Of what use is the world to me when my life has been shattered beyond repair? My life is like a broken glass. A glass broken into thousand tiny pieces without any hope of being mended. Each time I try to gather it, I get wounded. Hey! Jenny, do not let the happening in your past determine your entire life. There is still so much to live for. Be going on. Do not kill yourself. Oh, she. No. God still has so much in stock for you. You know, she. Be going on. Oh, it's okay. Be going on. I'm here for you. You know, we'll go through it together. No, she. Your mom is here. Something like what, Mama? What is there to live for? I watched my life dissolve before me. Mama, I had a feeling. No. He did nothing wrong but be born. He is your son, my grandchild. Nobody detects the element that determines the tide of history. That boy is a curse of forbidden. I forbid you to utter such utterances from your mouth. The abomination. I curse the day he was formed in my womb. Do you not know? Eh? You better accept your fate. Eh? And accept that boy as your son and treat him with love and care. You owe him that much. I owe him nothing. I don't owe him anything. It is better for him to die because his presence here brings me nothing but but but, but pain, sorrow, agony. Six years. This is not for anyone to hear. Some wounds never heal. That's up to you. If you don't want to hear, keep opening it. Otherwise, take responsibility and do something with your life. Just be sure. Hello. Why are you sitting here alone? Mama. Why does my mother hate me this much? No mother will hate her child. No? Your mother is going through a lot now. That's not true, Baba! My mother hates me! She hates me and I don't know what I did to her! Anna, your mother does not hate you. Your mother has been through a lot. She does not, no mother will hate her child. You know what? But mama, 
Mai moda con me gol. Ma moda mia mai le gol. I told you several to stop listening to people's discussion. I'm sorry, mama. But my mother called me God. And you are not. Eh? No. You are not. You are a blessing from God to me. And you know grandma loves you so much. Hmm? It's okay. Wipe your tears. Una. Una. Wipe your tears. I love you. Oh? Your mother loves you too. You know that? I'm going to the market. Will you go with me? Can I wash your face? Will you go? Mm -hmm. I pray she doesn't destroy this boy. You. And I pray she knows what she's doing. You can't get up My goodness, you mean Chinelo attempted to poison herself? How would she do that? What for? She wants to take her own life? Hey, my daughter needs help. And if you don't do anything about that, we will not only lose our emotional trauma, but to the great beyond. God forbid! Nothing will happen to my friend. So now please help me. She has been your friend from childhood. Be good. Do everything possible to help her and always monitor her so that she won't kill herself. Be good. Mama, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Just relax your mind. I'll do everything I can. Okay? Trust me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Naya. Auntie. How are you? Auntie, you see Okay. Thank you. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mama? Okay, I'll see you for later, okay? okay? Buy something for me. I will. Buy offer for me. It's okay. I love you. Brain. Come on, you don't need to hide your face, girl, because I already saw you. And I must say, you look really beautiful. I also heard that you have a son now without a husband. Oh, that's shameful. I don't understand. That's the point I see. I'm here. Adam! Please, um, can you lend me your agric notes? Ngozi, the last time I gave you my notebook to go home, you did not come to school for two days. Two whole days. And I did not see what to study with. Hmm? Are you giving me a Besides, note? why were you not in class when we were copying it? Where were you? Are you giving me or not? <sighs> Please, handle it with care. I'm begging you. And make sure you come to school with it tomorrow. Else I will not give you my book again. I've heard you. Thank you. Oh. And but... There's something I've been wanting to ask you. What is it? About your lackadaisical like, attitude to class. I mean, you're not serious. What's that supposed to mean? Isn't they bring their leg? You hardly come to school. You and I know that. You hardly come to school. And then, when you manage to come, the few times you have managed to come to school, you, you always come late. Huh? Even the teachers are complaining. Wait, Chinelo. What's bringing that leg? Or do you think you're better than every, every one of us? No. I... That's not true. I, 
I only decided to talk to you about it because I care. That's all. <laughs> Look, just because you confessed in class and all teachers are praising you does not mean that you're better than every one of us. Okay? Look, the fact that you're doing well in class does not mean that you'll be more successful than everyone in this school. But I never meant it like that. Mm. No, I, I never meant it like that. Have your book. Shove it up your ass. Nonsense. Chimo. I told you to let her be. But you wouldn't listen. Yeah? Mm. I don't know. Wait. What did I say wrong now? You said nothing wrong. But there are people you don't waste your precious time advising. Please, let's go. You don't. <coughs> Enough for me, I will not disturb myself. You shouldn't be worrying yourself over someone that you can see she doesn't want to be serious with her studies. It's all of yours. I think you should just prepare. Please, I'm serious. 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 Girl, you look like an old hag. Now I understand the saying, this life no balance. I can see it all with you. You know, they say some are mates in class, but not mates in life. <laughs> Sweetie, you look like an old hag. Please go take care of yourself. You need a total makeover. <laughs> The fire breaks in You look like an old hag, honestly. Tinello with the fire breaks. 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 And then when you manage to come, the few times you have managed to come to school, you, you always come late. Huh? Even the teachers are complaining. Wait, Chinelo, what's bringing that leg? Or do you think you're better than every one of us? Come on, you don't need to hide your face, girl, because I already saw you. And I must say, you look really beautiful. I also heard that you have a son now without a husband. Oh, that's shameful. Just because you confessed in class and all teachers are praising you does not mean that you're better than every, every one of us. Look, the fact that you're doing well in class does not mean that you'll be more successful than everyone in this school. Oh, Chinelo. How did you end up in this village as a village champion? Who would have thought that the almighty Chinelo will become a village champion? Oh, God. Girl, you look like an old hag. Now I understand the saying, this life no balance. I can see it all with you. You know, they say some are mates in class, but not mates in life. Mommy. What is it? Eh? Abumono, what is it this time? Mommy, I'm very hungry. Yes, you are. You are very hungry. Eh? Mbano, go. Go and eat me. Eat me now, since I now look like food for you. Eat me. Hi! What is 
face all this? Come, why don't you just go far, far away? Is it that you don't have sense like that, your stupid father? Eh? You don't have sense to know when somebody does not want you. Eh? Disappear now! Or better still, just find some place somewhere. Yeah, Dig the ground. Bury yourself inside. Just anything. Just get out of my sight. Will you get away from your office, such never Get out from here before, before I will start your big head. Look at it. No, no, no. I said, go. Go, 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 go. I was born, born as intelligent girl. I hope in one day I will love my world. Bringing hard every day, starting hard every day. That's one day I will shine But my word is shattered. I am losing time. I don't know what to do. So, after all these years, this house remains the same. No change of any sort. Oh, Chinelo, I was meaning to ask you. How did I get to overtake you? <laughs> oh, while you were busy on the highway chasing for high grades in class that only ends on the teacher's reports on your paper. <laughs> yes, that's when I overtook you. While you were looking for good grades in class, I was looking for good life. Good money, good house, and probably a good money if I so wish. How about I give you some money and hope that you return it by tomorrow? I know you won't because you know you are so lackadaisical with life. <laughs> that dog that opens up for everyone has finally become the bulldog that eats the fat bones. And well, the innocent a cookie. The innocent a cookie that attempted to eat the feces of the lepers. What happened? Ended up being infested with the indelible stigmatizing works of life. Chirelu, you gave birth to a bastard. Oh, what a pity. Oh, anyway. Have that. And please, return it to me in class tomorrow. See ya. What am I living for? When my life is shattered. Oh, I watch ah! before me. Taking place. 
You. You're the boy I saw with his mom the other day. Did she beat you again? She said I should disappear from her. She said I should go far away from her. What? Madame, she said let's that. Go, let's go. Don't worry, I'll take you home, okay? No, I don't want to go home. She hates me. No, boo boo, she doesn't hate you. She's your mommy. I don't want to go home. She doesn't want me. Oh. You know what? I will talk to her. She's not going to beat you again. Okay? Trust me. Come on, let me take you. Let's go. Don't worry. Trust me. Okay? Trust Auntie. Let's go. Madam, this boy not what she left, boy. We want you what am I living for? When my life is shattered, oh, I watch my life is up before me. Thank you. Where is Anna? I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? She was with you here before I left. Uh huh. Is he not grown? Uh -uh. When he feels like coming home, he can always find his way back. Ha! Chile, can you listen to yourself? Our child left this house without your notice and you're not even bothered. What do you want me to do? Go and look for him. No, I don't have that kind of stuff. I don't. Chile, if anything happens to that boy, you have me to confirm it. Okay, Nolia. Who kept this money? Eh? Chile, who kept this money? Go ahead, Belega. I don't know. Hey, yeah. you don't know when I go there, but Chile, who kept this money? Chile, who? Oh, here, Belega. Is it? Who is Good this? Good afternoon, my dear. No. What is it? My name is Anastasia Suko. I saw him by the roadside crying, so I decided to bring him home. You were crying? What happened? Shh. 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 What did you do to him? I, I don't know what you're talking about. To. Is he not a human being? Human beings cry sometimes. So why is his own oh, different? Chile, Chile, what did you do to this? I don't like it. Chile, thank you. Chile, what did you do Everybody has a painful secret the world knows nothing about. So my even more painful because we just wish it's a nightmare. Only for us to realize it's our reality. 
and we sometimes want to run away or hide from it. I put it to you that you are emotionally perturbed. And I sense transfer of aggression. And what I can't seem to wrap my head around is why you treat this boy with so much hatred. Why so much anger towards your own child, your own flesh and blood? The child of your youth. You. You don't know me. So stop talking like you know me. You're right. I don't know you. But my encounter with you tells me that you are bitter about something. I don't know what it is. But your son is the one feeling the heat. He's too young for that. Way, way too young. All he needs from you is love, care and attention. Sometimes when we talk about the things we go through, it helps us ease the pain and the body. Talk to me. And why would I talk to you about anything? Why? You actually don't have to talk to me. But I advise you talk to someone. I'm a lawyer and a professional counselor. Here is my card. My number is right there. You can call me when you change your mind or whenever you feel like talking. I'm a very good listener and I'm very easy to talk to. Please take it easy on the child. Please. Just be strong. If I may let me go. God knows the best. If I may let me go. I I sugar Um, can I, yo? Bring the plate. Okay, I need the Oh, 
And Chinelo's watchdog. So, I was going to ask you, after writing down the names of noisemakers in class and making sure that all your enemies' names were in the book, did you get appointed as the Secretary General of the Federal Republic of Nigeria or perhaps SSG to the state at least? Ngozi, I'm not caught out with troubles with you. On the contrary, I am not here to make troubles, darling, but to set the record straight. To let you know that the table has turned. And who is dragging table with you? What is my business? Listen, don't you ever stop me next time and sound this stupid. Oh. Else, you will not like me. There she goes again. You still this disgruntled fighter? You know, I thought that after you graduated from the university, you must have learned something. Well, hell no, you learned nothing. Well, no wonder you're still poor. Anyway, I thought it wise to come to the village and look for you so I can make you my receptionist in one of my shops. You know, it's rather better than staying idle. And trust me, the pay is worth it. <laughs> You're going to like this offer. Isioma, I swear I'll pay you well. <laughs> Thank God you came. Thank God you came. 
easy. I am drowning. I am drowning. I am, I am drowning right now. What happened? I, 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 I nearly killed my son today. What? Now you? Yes. I, why? Okay, just calm down and talk to me. Everything will be fine. No! No, everything will not be fine. I nearly killed my son. I nearly killed him because of what? A broken plate. Can you be that? A broken plate. I beat my son like a criminal today because he broke a plate. And now that I think of it, it is not even about the broken plate. It's something else. It's it, 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 like a, a lump, a big lump touched in my chest and I cannot bring it out and I'm going crazy I'm going crazy my mother said I need help my mother said I need help she said she said I need help it's okay you need help not just your mother I've told you severally you need help oh Sit down and help me. Then help me. It's okay. Listen to me. I'm not in a position to help you. You need a therapist. You see, my few years in the university has taught me a lot of things. People go through a lot. People go through emotional trauma. Some commit suicide. Some become toxic. All in the means of what they've experienced in life. She will not allow your past experience to weigh you down. You need to talk to someone. So who do I talk to? You need to see a professional psychotherapist. I am not really mad. And my brain is still intact. So what are you saying? Oh no, I did not say you are really mad. Or you mustn't be really mad before you see a therapist. Listen. With the way you are going, it will be very bad. She, you destroy things, beat up your son, do a whole lot of things, all in the midst of trying to get yourself back. You have to do something before he consumes you. Do you have anyone? Oh, come, sit down, okay? Sit. I'm here for you, okay? Do it actually, but we can look around. Um, you, you said something about one lady you saw the other day that gave you her card. Her name sounded like something they use at the hospital. Yeah. Anastasia, but please, 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 for the love of God, she is the last person I want to talk to right now. She gave you her card and her phone number, even her profession is there. And how are you sure she is truly what she says she is? But you can never tell. Just give it a try. Out. Take your phone and call her. Call her. Give her a call. Hmm? Well, I'm so sorry to leave you. I'm sorry I couldn't call as soon as you called. I was out of town. I'm it, very sorry. It's okay. At least you're here now. Thank you so much <coughs> for coming. Thank it's you. Okay. Where is Nayo? Um, he went out with my mother. Oh wow, I'd have really loved to see him. But I'm sure they'll be back soon. Would you like to go for a ride? I know you're wondering why I brought us here. Well, I think maybe it's because you don't want us to be disturbed. Right. And also, I want you to be free. Calm. Free your emotions. Without any shame. Or feeling any form of judgment. Sit.
But my world is shattered I am losing time Do you have any questions to ask me? Not really. No, you do. Yes. Like, who is this lady? What does she want from me? What is she particular about my business? What does she gain? What does she have to benefit from this? And so on. So go on, ask me your questions. You don't seem to be from around here. No, I'm not. I stay in the capital city. So what then do you come to this village to do? My fiancé is from this village. But he's not around at the moment. So he sent me a message to his mom. And you know women need someone to talk to, so I come to keep her company sometimes. Oh, I see. <sighs> So, tell me about yourself. There's nothing to tell apart from what you already know. My name is Chimu Okoye. I'm a single mother. There must be more to you than the single mother tag. Because I see a unique young lady whose life contains a promissory note yet to fulfill her promise to her parents and to herself. I am just a young woman who couldn't keep her acts together. A girl whose dreams of Going to school and achieving great things have been jeopardized. When you look at me, you see a failed woman, a scorned woman. A scorned woman whose fur is worse than hell. Why do you feel like that? That is what I am. A failed woman. A container load of shattered hopes. An obscure future. No signs of brightness. No sign at all. We're getting somewhere. I see the problem. And to solve this problem, we have to start from the very root. The root cause from the very beginning. Why do you feel like a failure? How else will you describe a girl who was once on top of the world but now at rock bottom? A girl who was once the best in her class on top of her game bubbling with so much life always receiving congratulatory messages from both family, friends and even teachers. That same young girl has been tossed out like a used rag. Mm. Nothing a child. While her mates are out there achieving great things. I am not getting any younger. With every passing day old age approaches and I have not achieved anything 
Nothing. Nothing at all with my life. Everything was going great. Until he showed up. Hmm. Until who showed up?
Tuesday. Hello. Is somebody there? Yes, come in. Hey, mom. Good evening, mom. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Oh yes, when I when I got into the house, one of the cooks told me that you were bad, so I didn't bother to disturb you. Yeah. How's he anyway? Yeah, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. I need a little play of my head. Okay. Oh, fine. Yeah. Oh, it's time. But I think we'll be careful. The days are evil. The days are evil. And you do not know much the way around the village. Mom. I can take care of myself. Okay? So you don't have to worry. I have to worry, son. Yes, you've been away from the country for some time now. So, believe me when I say that people are becoming more evil. One can't be too careful. It's alright, Mom. I get the point. Okay? I'll bear that in mind. That's nice, eh? By the way, do you speak to the doctor? Oh, yes, I did. We'll be coming to me. Good. Alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know so you're ready? I'll be ready, guys. Yeah. Alright. Ah. So, I'm waiting downstairs. Okay, well. I'll tell you guys soon. Alright.
See, I have been calling you and you just ignored me. What do you want? You already know, Chi. Eh? I am ready to do anything just to make you mine. Give me a chance. Just say yes. Eh? Yes. Emeka, yes. There, I have told you several that I am not interested in any form of relationship. But, uh -uh. You pester me every day. Why? Do you, do you know I love you? Hmm? Yes. I mean, all your friends have boyfriends to their self. Just give me a chance. Uh, 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 listen. Having a boyfriend is the least of my worries right now. I have exams to prepare for. And I have dreams that I want to achieve. I don't need any form of distraction. Are you saying I'm distracted? Uh, 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 listen, it's very obvious you don't have any important thing to say. Please, as you Chief. can see, I, I will... Go. Don't touch me, Biko. Chief. Just go. Ah. See, I will never cherish you. Don't want to give, give, give this thing to all those, all those village, uh, village boys. Too. Chichi. Here you are. So who are you? My name is Chidi. So, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I should be the one asking you that question. What are you doing here? Besides, you haven't told me your name. You are standing on my spot. Your spot? Yes, I usually come here to live. And this is where I sit. I didn't see you here yesterday. By the way, I have a friend who comes here every day. Ooh. I'll show you. Come see. Listen, have you been following me? No, 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 come on. I, I, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to freak you out. Okay? Just, 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 just don't hurt me. No, I, I'm not going to stop. Uh, hey! Hey! Hey!
وضع مفاني عيشة دي ولا تروك I said I'm fine I just want to be left alone Please Did you talk to me and your mother? Mom, I'm fine What the hell is wrong with me? I just wanted to talk to her. Now I ended up freaking her out. Oh. She might never grab me on hands again. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? something I really want to talk to you about. Talk to me about? What is it? Yes. It's about your friend, Chinele. Yeah. You see, I want you to help me talk to her that she should be my girlfriend. Yes. I have done everything possible for her to accept me as a man. But she's just too stubborn. Please help me talk to her. Talk to her about what? Anything. Tell her that I love her. Tell her about my feelings for her. I truly love her. Emeka, Chinelo has a mind of her own. She's not someone you can talk into something she's not interested in. If she said she does not want you, I would advise you, leave her alone. Let her be. See, I don't want you to advise me. Okay? If you like to leave her alone. Ha. Okay, you are her best friend. Let me talk to her. She will listen to you. Please. Okay, but I'm not promising you, but I'll try. Gee. Um, you see, I know I can always come to you. Thank you so much. All right, um, I'll be on my way. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. You see, I just remember the way you scrambled off the other day, begging me not to harm you. Did you actually think I was going to hurt you? How would you feel if a total stranger walks up to you and shows you a picture of you having your bath in your own bathroom? Now that's extreme. Oh, ho. eh? That was how I felt that day. You know, I just felt I was being watched in a place that I thought I was safe. Oh, I, I am really sorry. I didn't know that was how you felt. 
But now I know, I promise I won't do that again. <laughs> it's huh? okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, thank you so much for the ride. You're welcome. Thank you. Are you not going to let me come inside? My mother will not be happy if I tell her that you're the mystery man who evaded my reading spot. <laughs> so no, I don't want you to come inside. Maybe next time. <sighs> and I am taking you by your words. Physics and further maths. Right, um, same reading spot, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> now that I know that I'm not being watched by a serial killer, it actually works for me. Good. So what time? This time tomorrow is fine. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Thank You're you. welcome. Mm -hmm. right. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Oh, sweetie, sweetie, my darling, darling, you sweet me, I sweet to you, I never see goodbye. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, my darling, darling, my. you sweet me, I sweet to you, I never see goodbye. But are you sure you're for real? Yes, I'm your love, just give me a chance. To prove it to you In my path I fall on the manya I know, I know But I must go university Go away balance But are you sure you're for real? Yes, I'm your love Just give me a chance To prove it to you In my path I fall on the manya I know, I know But I must go university Go away balance Why are you staring at me? Because I can feel your eyes burning through my ears. Oh, go no. Chinele, you know why? Give me gist. Which gist? Because there's no gist. So, how did it go? You went well. Mm -hmm. What does he want? He said he wants us to be friends. And... And he seemed like a very nice person. And being friends with him will help me academically. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Chico, academically. I don't understand. Just what that? are you using? Please, 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 please go and sit down there. He said he will help me with topics that I find very difficult. Oh. Wow, nice. Fine. Uh, can I join? Of course you can. I've been asking you endlessly to join me. But you're always very lackadaisical with your reading habits. I don't know why. I beg, Chinele, this school stress is much already. And after facing that one, I'll still come back home and face my house chores. Do you want me to die? <coughs> the stress is too much. Lazy! Lazy! Lazy Nigerian youth. That is what you I want. I agree. No problem. No problem. <laughs> But wait, oh, I'm seriously. Oh. That guy is handsome and he seems harmless. Hey! Zukwanike. It's your arrest. Uh uh. Everybody is fine in your eyes. Not everybody. Leave that in. Okay. Maybe he's handsome. But is his heart as handsome as his face? That should be the question right now. That guy is very fine. Hey! <laughs> Shall be very careful. Don't be carried away. That's my own. Carried away, 
Hey, you're talking as if you don't know me very well. Mm, that one will not happen. See, we are going to set boundaries and territories to avoid stories that touch the heart. Hey, mm. <laughs> mother, I agree. And why are you saying it like that? Like you don't believe me? Did I say anything? Mm -hmm. Now you know. I think I don't know that you are, you are, you are, you are turning your nose. You need to be in the zoo, you need to be. <laughs> I was just looking after you. I know you very well. I care for you. you. Don't forget mm -hmm. that I care for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, my babe, I, I think you this is where I'm going to I cut want... your leg from you. I'm telling you. I'm a fan of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I have to do like that. Yeah. I'm glad you understand everything now, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, Mama, welcome. Kirima. Mm. Um, uh, Mama, this is Chidi. Mazi Amechi's son. The one that lives overseas. He just came back. Mm. Good day, Mom. Good day. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, uh, I, I think I have to take my leave now. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Ah, uh, I'll take my leave now, Ma. My regards to your people. Very well. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Chilemo. What's the matter with you? Not to He's my friend and he's helping me with my schoolwork. Eh? Uh, Chilemo. Be careful in this house, you. Don't be sitting there with and big car. I don't know why you said they give me the job that I just cannot give. Mama, you, you don't have anything to worry about, honestly. I'm not worried, though. I'm not worried. Mani Hemma will be careful. She will be careful in this house. They could say, oh God, I'm not. Get me water. Hey! Then you can see some. She will help you! She will help you! I'm coming!
um, that would be all for now. You people should try to administer the medication as I prescribed. Hmm? Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Uh, Mom, I'll just I'll just take it off. Oh. Yes. I don't think I don't think I'll make it alive. How could you beat? What will happen to you, my husband? Okay. I know. I know myself. I'm losing strength. I was the best. As the days go by. Please don't lose hope. Please. What will happen to you? Okay. It's okay. I always got that. But honestly, Mr. Chidi, I'll be very, very honest with you. Your father's condition is deteriorating. I won't uh, doubt if he will eventually make it. What are you trying to say, Doctor? Are you trying to tell me there's nothing you can do about this? You are a highly recommended doctor for Christ's sake. Of course I am a highly recommended doctor and that is why I'm doing actually what I'm supposed to do my best. It is my responsibility to administer medication. But it is in the hands of God to bring about the healing. The most important thing now is that your father would lead his family members around him. I've heard what you said, Doctor. Thank you very much. Yeah. I will be on the way now. Please do it. I'll look at you. What took you so long? I was so worried. I actually thought you had changed your mind. What is wrong? My father. My God. What happened to your father? Please talk to me. What happened to your father? The doctor said he has a little time to leave. No. Oh. He said his health has deteriorated and can't be managed anymore. Hi. I don't want my father to die. I am so sorry. Please. Just hang in there, okay? God will see you through. My own father's death was even worse. We didn't have any money when he was sick, so we couldn't even treat him. And we lost him to the cold and merciless hands of death. It's okay. She, why do you feel for me so much? Oh, oh. We are best friends, right? And friends make each other feel better. I just, I just wish I can ease your pain, honestly. No. We are more than friends. I mean, we what? 
I do not even know the right words to use. I love you. Yes. I know it is crazy for me to say this to you, but I do. I just can't help it. What are you saying? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, I I guess I got carried away. I'm sorry. It's fine. But listen. You are supposed to be my extra moral lesson coach. So you have to keep your emotions in check. Please. I understand what a man's respect means to him. And I honestly do not want to lose my respect for you. Please. Please don't tell me about this. thing is that Chidi and I are mature enough to respect the boundaries of our friendship. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what you are trying to say is that there's nothing going on. There's no any emotions attached. How can you be asking me that? Don't you think that if Chidi and I are more than just friends, you would be the best person for us? <laughs> I was wondering. Mm. I was wondering. Mm. Uh, but I tell you this. Whichever way you decide to go into a relationship with Chedi, you have my full support. <laughs> <laughs> let, yeah. me, let me tell you something. You know I never had a brother. So Chedi is more like the brother I never had. Just like the sister I never had. Oh. And <laughs> let me now tell you something. You see today's exam mm. for the maths. Mm. I am so ready for it. All thanks to Chidi. Ah, Chidi, thank you. Thank you for coming to our rescue. <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to sit with you. Ah, see this one. See this one. Oh, okay. What if they sit us according to our surname? Ah, you. You will be fine. <laughs> but it's okay. I can put you through before the examination. That is if you want to, because I am tired of forcing you to study. I don't know how you do it. Don't worry. When we get to the bridge, you know how to cross it. God will make a way. See this one. God. God will come and write the exam for you. He will come. He will make God will write the exam for you. We will sit together now. <laughs> you will not see me. It's a lot of people from the back.
Ma. Darling, darling, you sweet me, I sweet to you on the bicycle bar. Ah, sweetie, sweetie Ma. Darling, darling Ma, you sweet me, I sweet to you on the bicycle bar. But are you sure you're for real? Yes, and your love, just give me a chance. To prove it to you, in my I follow the nanya. I know, I know, but I must go university. Go where balance is. Are you sure you're for real? Yes, and your love, just give me a chance to prove it to you, in my I follow the nanya. I know, I know, but I must go university. Go where balance is. Huh? Yes, you are very good. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Should be told, I, I, I like this place. You know, I like this place a lot. It's beautiful. Yes. Very quiet. Yes. That's the is. one thing I like about it. Yes, it is. Ah. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like those shoes. I free over there. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not as near as it looks. That tree is really far. I love adventures. Why don't we go through the bush to that tree? I. Good. <laughs> Let's go.
killing him. Yeah. What is this? What are you doing here? So, it is because of that, that boy, that poor boy, that you told me that me, me a maker down. What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? So, because I don't have a car and speak super, super, super through my nose, that is why you turned me down. You know, for a while I thought you you were a decent girl. But unknowing to me that you are a cheap, materialistic girl who goes after men with cars. Look at that one. That one that perm his hair like 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 we, uh, we uh, women. Uh, uh, America. Enough. Let's go. Do you want to know why I can't do that? Yes, I want to know. It is because you don't have brain. In what occurs, you know brain inside. Yes, you are just a village layabout. A village pout. We frass with no future ambition. That's what you are. You see that Chidi. <laughs> Chidi is everything you should, you should wish for. He has everything to offer. He has values. He is a real gentleman. But you, you, apart from looking for women to win their lives, what else do you have to offer? Nothing. Apart from going around this village looking for people's lives to win, women's lives to win, what else do you have to offer? Eh? What else apart from this miserable looking thing inside your dirty boxers that I'm very sure is smaller than a small pin It's not small. It's not small. Ah, it's not small. Get away from there. It's not small. It's, it, it, it's because you've not tested it. A woo tester. See, let me tell you. You see that Chidi? Chidi is better than you. Chidi respects women's decision. Unlike you who cannot even take ordinary rejection from a woman. And I can get a life, oh, get a life and do something better with it. Instead of looking for someone's daughter to ruin her future. Hey! If I was, if I was you, Emeka, Emeka, I will change it for you. If I was you, you will stick your feet on the car. Don't try me, oh! Hey! Don't touch me, oh! Come, chi eh, 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 yeah. Don't touch me, Emeka. Don't touch me, oh! Don't touch me, I will change it for you. Oh. you know, Come, I, it, it's like, no. I, I will slap that love out of your mouth now. If, if you touch me, what did I need? Come, it's like I, I, I've been keeping quiet for you in your mind. I'm a very quiet person. Don't try me. I, I, I will change it for you. I'm so yeah. happy that you know, very, I'm so mad like you. You act you out. I'm so sexy. Okay. Is that the new grammar you learn? You want to use it for me, okay? Eh? Sexy. You better accept me. Come, shrink and cap over here, office, or you cute. If you're a woman, you're approaching menopause, but you don't know. I'm a woman. This thing I'm doing is not fair. Stop doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I just like the way it makes you feel. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How long have you been here? About an hour. I actually thought you wouldn't make it. Well, um, I'm sorry I was with my father. Oh, yes. It's okay. I, I understand. How is he? He's not getting any better. Oh. At all. Everything that has been done medically to tackle this ailment has failed. It's okay. 
don't worry about it. He will be fine. Nothing will happen to him, okay? I hope so. <laughs> Listen, uh, I want to show you something. What? Just wait. Ta -da! Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Do you like it? I love it. I, I want a copy of it. How do I get it? Okay, I will make a copy for you. And then I'll keep this one. I use this to remember our love. <sighs> our bond. And everything we share. Hey. You don't have to be afraid. Okay? When I said I love you, I meant it. And I promise you, nothing will ever make me leave you. Are you serious? Of course. Of course I'm serious. And that is because I love you so much. And I want to be with you forever. <laughs> Come here. Are you sure you're for real? Yes, and your love. I love you, okay? Just give me a chance to prove it to you. In my powerful and denial. I had fallen in love with him. Without even realizing it. So I believed him when he told me I had nothing to worry about. But I got the shock of my life when I got admitted into the university. What happened when you got admission? I found out I was pregnant. My mother was, was so heartbroken. Was she be aware? I told him. I told him about the pregnancy. And that was when I realized I was all alone. No. What the hell are you saying? Do you know? But you're pregnant! How the hell did that happen? Who's responsible? Of course you are. I mean, you're my first. And you're my only. Oh yes, I could be your first. But I'm not sure I'm your only. What are you implying? Well, what I am implying is that I am not ready for any pregnancy setback. My father is lying in the mortuary. And the only thing in my head right now is to bury him. Not take up some stupid marriage responsibilities. Never. You don't expect me to abort this baby, do you? Well, I expect you to handle this as an adult that you are. Okay? By the way, you're not even ready to get married now. So handle it. It's your responsibility. But you, you, you promised to love me. You, 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 you said you would be with me. You, but, you, 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 you slash! I lied. You know what? I'm done. Everything we have is over. Don't you ever call me. Okay? I don't want to ever have anything to do with you again. You're done. You take your best yourself. I 
should have known. No banya, no banya, see the quality. I should have known. Education and my boys in our field. Education and my now. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have known this. I saw you as a girl with a very high moral standard. Chinelo, how could you bring this type of shame into this family? I used to see you as a girl with high moral standard. I used you as an example to other children in this family on how best to behave. How could you break our trust this way? How? You know, it's a mistake. When you were busy pulling your clothes, spreading your legs, you know that a mistake will bring you disgrace. You know, you are a disgrace. You see, you, I tried my best to train you well, and God will bear me witness. Okay, you will disgrace yourself and not me. You know, yeah? Disgrace. They are called. I the shining light of this family. How can you do this? This is your plan all the way to go to the university and sleep it around with boys. No member of this family will enter the university with an unwanted pregnancy. We will not tolerate such a shame. So it's obvious whatever you thinking on your head, you are not on your own. And there is nothing I can do about that. The water you poured on your side is what is making you cold. Oh, Uncle Fee, please don't leave me like this now. I am begging you, don't give this to me. It was a mistake. Please, please. Come on, that my cousin, sir. Mistake has consequences and you have to bear them. Uncle Fee, hey! Thank you for me. Thank you for me. Don't for yourself. If you hear me along with you, if you hear me along with you, then you disgrace. When you are busy spreading your legs, tomorrow, you want me to beg your uncle? She didn't know you had a disgrace. I, I, I knew I trained you well, and God knows I did my best. She didn't know your father married me a virgin. Eh? I don't know who you resemble. I'm a woman. I don't know. Eh? She wants to put upon yourself now. University. University. Go on, stay. Oh God. Eh? Hi. Hi. Yeah? By the way, who is responsible? Eh, Chinelu? Chinelu, who is responsible for this pregnancy? Oh, it's a go. I should have hey. known. Not the level of your soccer team. I should have known. I should have known. Not by you. Not by you, single body. I should have known. Uh -huh. Education of my voice is not fair. Uh -huh. Education of my now. I should have done this, I should have done that, I should have done that.
well with you. It shall never be well with you wherever you are. Very difficult to believe you wanted to kill yourself. Why? You wanted to die all in the means of trying to terminate the child. Why? Is it not better? Is it not better to die? Is it not better than living this 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 life of misery? Do you know I am now a, a, a laughing stock? The laughing, laughing stock of the village. Eh? My whole life has changed. But my, my, my life has turned upside down all because of this. This, 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 this little human being growing inside my womb. It's okay, please. Don't talk like that. What don't talk like that. Sir? I just wanted to take it out. I just wanted it flushed what out. I just wanted it to die. I wanted sir? it to kill it so that it would... Prepare to die with it. Lenny, look at you. Attempting to kill an innocent life all because of carelessness. It is not a child's fault. That you opened your legs. Eh? Okay, to be if anything happens to that child in your womb. Chidelo, if anything happens to that child in your womb, 
Believe you me, this house will not contain both of us. Enolia? Rubbish. Just a twinkle of an eye. All my things are gone. What the hell? What the Oh, what is this? What is this? Don't try me. Don't. I want to kill yourself. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. I took everything and anything I could lay my hands on just to terminate the pregnancy. But the child held on. The child refused to go. So where's Chidi now? I don't know. He went back after his father's burial. I thought he said he came back to mind family's business. See, at some point I I lost interest in anything that concerns him but i heard that after the burial someone was contracted to mind the business while he went back and continued his studies i haven't heard anything about him since then so he hasn't seen his son wow this is really sad now I understand why you feel the way you do. Well, you know what? This is not the end of your life. You still have a lot of potentials within you. And you can't let this little scar hinder you from spreading your wings to fly. Wings. <laughs> I don't even have legs to walk. Talk more of wings to fly. The wind of life blew everything away, including my dreams. Of course you do. Everything you've been through is just a chapter in your life. You have to allow yourself Rewrite your destiny. The pet of that boy destroyed my destiny. Of course you do. If there's anything that will deny you of your destiny, it's you. Yes. Chinedo, you need to come out of your shell. You need to allow yourself to feel life again. You need to let go. Go out. Meet people. You have watched things happen for too long. It's time for you to make things happen. You are beautiful. You are smart. You are intelligent. If we all dwell in our mistakes, then there's nothing left of us. We all make mistakes. Should we let our mistakes define who we are? No, of course not. And that boy Nayo, he deserves all the love and care. Yes. It's bad enough that he doesn't have a father figure in his life and the only one person that should care for him shouldn't disappoint him. He deserves better. He's been through so much trauma at his age. It's too much for him. 
It's a lot for a little boy of his age. Please, I beg you. Please, let it all go. It's never too late. You can start all over again. It's worse when you don't even try. I know you can do it. You're a strong woman and you've proven that you are. Am I living far where my life is shattered? Oh, I watch my life be served before me. Oh, Cost has taken place of blessings in my life. Everything about me is agony and pain. Mama, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do, Mama? What did you do, my dear? How are you? Yeah. You know, what did you do? I was worried. Uh, uh, Mama, what did you do? What did you do? All right. And I'm a little. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> no, we're only learning how to drive our lives. <laughs> Come on, Sipo. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Mama. I don't forget, you can always call me any time. I mean, any time. <laughs> Besides, where's Nayo? I like to see him. I see this. Oh, I'm definitely seeing him next to him. Besides, we have our finished business. <laughs> that is very true. Um, I really want to know what's in my head. I'm having a horrible headache. That's very true. You really need that. Make sure you get enough, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God! You are looking beautiful and well polished. Oh. Hey, 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 don't touch me. What is that supposed to mean? What is this? Ngozi, so you 
came around and they uh, refused to check up on me. Hmm? What is this? Check up on you as in what? As my husband or my father? You must take it easy. Let it not be heard that you, 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 are, you are forgotten you should see. Eh? Do you know how many investments I have invested on you? My, 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 my prayers, Ngozi. You swore and promised not to leave you before you left for the city. Okay. Forgotten. And make us say, levels have changed. And I will advise you to do something meaningful with your miserable life. And let me also warn you, let this be the last time you will ever stop me to speak this nonsense again. Village cheap Luther. Nonsense. I'm gonna make, make money, I'll, I'll, I'll buy something better than this. Huh? Because of this, this pure water. My daughter, I am so happy. I don't know what you did to her. It has been long I saw her smile like this. <laughs> huh? Mama, it's just a step in the long run. Your daughter has been through a lot mm. of mm. emotional challenges. Mm. It's going to take time to get her out of it. But the good thing is, she's going to definitely, eventually, be fine in the long run. I pray so, my dear. I pray so, to be honest. It's been long I saw her like this. I, I miss my cheerful and loving daughter. Mom, you definitely have her back. By God's grace. Thank you very much. No? Thank you. Darling. It's okay. It's okay. You're welcome. So I'll have to leave now. Uh, yes. Okay. But please do me a favor. Take good care of yourself. I will. Don't think too much. No. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. So sorry for everything I put you through. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Don't, don't be scared, okay? I know I have hurt you. And I know I have done a lot of things that I'm not proud of right now. I want you to know that I'm sorry. Okay, please forgive me. Your mother has realized her mistakes and she is truly, truly sorry. Okay? Listen, just hug me. Hug me, please. you to know that. I really, really love you. I promise you, I 
season, even season, and your cut, I'm going to cut. Okay. Then if you're raw, mm -hmm. you're going to smash this. Okay. Bam scissors. Okay. And if I'm raw, if you're scissors, so I'm going to smash this. Okay. Raw, then you have scissors. Scissors. Yeah. Mm-mm. Hi. Hey, Do it again. Do it again. No. No, you guys are going to wait there for me. I'll go with this for you. I can see you both are having a nice time. Yes, so <laughs> my darling friend. Mm. Welcome. Thank Good you, afternoon. Auntie. Good afternoon, my boy. How are you? I am fine, Auntie. Mm -hmm. And come and join us. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to play. You know your auntie doesn't know how to play this kind of game. <laughs> but I tell you this. I'm going to sit down here and watch you beat your mom's hands down. Eh? Now I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I will what? see that. Rock, paper. I'm on my rock. 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 i Chinelo, hmm? what magic did that woman perform on you? She must be a professional. Mm. I don't know, but eh, I feel so light. Oh, as if a very heavy weight was lifted off my shoulder. Mm. See, eh, that woman has a way with words. As in, she will talk to you like this, eh, you start feeling like a new person. I can see that because you're glowing. Exactly. You're seriously glowing. Just yeah. look at you. Looking more beautiful. Mm. Okay. I'm so happy for you, you Chinelo. I'm happy you're happy. <laughs> I am happy. I'm not lie. Like. This is what? I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Go home my offer. Um let's let's go out now. Mm. I just discovered that playing with my son. And spending quality time with him gives me a kind of joy that I cannot explain. It saddens me that I wasted so much time hating on him and being angry at him for something that was not his fault at all. It's okay. Do not dwell on your past. Let it go. Move on and let this moment count. That's what matters. Hmm? I will. Guess what? What? <laughs> Anastasia promised to get me a job. That way, I can save up for school. School? You're still talking about school? Of course. Isoma, you know how much I love school. Listen. I know I fell. I fell so hard. But I I can't remain on the ground forever. It is time for me to get up, dust off, and move on. I mean, I want my life back. I also want to have a great life 
so that I can give my son a meaningful and beautiful future. Yes! That's the Chinelo I know talking! <laughs> Chinelo the go-getter! Eh? The fighter that never gives up! Mm. Mm? <laughs> wow! Whatever choice you make, I'm suddenly behind you, okay? Mm? <laughs> but, Beto, this Anastasia girl did a whole lot on your mindset. Tell me about it. Eh? Even you, Isioma, you deserve a best friend award. Oh, uh, You stood by me through it all. I mean, you were there for me. You fought for me even when others abandoned me. Turned their backs on me and left just on me. Thank you. Thank you for not giving up even when I shut you out. You're, you're just... You're just the sister I never had. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, Chinelo, you would do the same for me. What are friends for? Friendship is all about steering someone towards success. No one's life goes up when you light up your sister's candle. Instead, the illumination will even become brighter. <laughs> that is true. But I am happy. I am so happy that I took that bumpy ride with you. Now you want to make me cry. Don't cry here. <laughs> I'll forget the good news I'm here to bring to you. Eh? Good news. <laughs> yes. Spill it. Spill it. My call of later is out. My God. I'm going for the wife. Where were you posted? Abuja. Yes. Is that your choice? Mm -hmm. You yeah. want me to serve in the village? I want you to serve in my house. Uh -uh. Abuja is too far now. That means I can't talk to you anytime I want. I can't see you when I want to. You will see me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Before you close your eyes and open it, I'm back. Uh, you change it. Don't miss me too much. Don't worry. You will see me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to die. It's just for you. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank honestly. you, my love. Thank You're you. Living your life and Thank I'm enjoying you. <laughs> Oh, yes, baby. I'm so proud of myself for the results I'm seeing in her. Yeah, she has changed a lot from the very bitter and angry young lady I saw the other day. I had an encounter with. Uh-huh. She has changed, she's bubbling with life, she's glowing. I mean, I've, I've never been so proud of myself. But it's, there's something about her. Her resilience. Yeah. I'm planning on getting her a job here in the city. Uh -huh. And her son is such a lovely little boy. So men are so unfair, sha. Come on, no, you, you're different. That's why I said some men. I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, and I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you. Alright, baby. Love you. Yeah, bye. I should have done. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have known that. <laughs> He's fine. Yes. Everybody's fine. What of you? <laughs> okay. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll... No problem, I'll ask my mother first. Then I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay. Bye. 
Who is it? It's Sister. You want Sarah and I to see how you do it? It's okay. Naya, I'm gonna come to you on the next video. Mm. She said it's, it would be a very good idea for us to leave the village for a while. You know, meet new people, see new things. But according to her, it's part of the healing process. It's okay. It's okay. She seems to know what she's doing. I'm excited. I am ready to support anything that I'm going to do this family about together with you. So when are you doing? What are you? I'm okay. I can take care of myself. At least my grandson will be experiencing a new place. Mbo Anna, yo. Yes, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait. Are you going to be next year? No. We are going to Auntie Anastasia's place. No. Yay. We're going to her place. We're going to meet her house. Hey. I wish it to be. Oh. I need to be finer than last. I'm going to take line there. <laughs> I'm going to play line there. Yeah. Play line. Leave line on the ball. Mm -hmm. Play line. I'll take it there. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm on the game now. Oh. Okay. Hi, I'm going to miss you. Can you see your pictures? <laughs> How are you able to bring from the streets? How are you guys going to open it? Because what is this? <laughs> Mama Bum Boy. So, how is motherhood treating you? Not nice, obviously. Child, she may know. So, this is how you ended up with all your friends. Oh God, such a pity. Ngozi, so you actually left your home to come here and insult Chinilo? <laughs> really? No, no. What is no, your no, problem? No. My problem is that life is not necessarily what it seems. And point of correction, I came to pay a custom visit to a, my classmate, oh sorry, our classmate. Who has given birth to a future? <laughs> you know, what I want you got I really expected too much from Chinelo. Like, you know, becoming a professor after college. But she is nothing to reckon with. Or perhaps she is now a nanny in, oh, a professional nanny in the child care center. <laughs> what a country. Mm. So, because you drive a car, mm -hmm. wear clothes and shoes, you think you are right? Engozi, just wait until those your sugar daddies disappoint you. Then you will see how your fall will, 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 will start. Oh. You think luxury is an investment? It's your mom. No! It's your mom. If you have an idea of who you are talking to right now, you would watch your tongue. Oh, you stupid! I will place you with You are very stupid! You go see. Chelsea. Look at this prostitute! Watch dogs. Look at this prostitute! You think we don't know how you prostitute around with men for money? You think we don't know how your dog brain couldn't comprehend anything but sex? And then what happened to our brilliant Chinalo? The Eku King. The same. She produced a mighty future for herself without feeling like her. My dear, let me tell you guys something. If you try my name, you will end up, I mean the whole of you, having disciples, 12 of them without fathers. Nothing, you nothing, you nothing. You want this an achievement? <laughs> Idiot! Look at this thought! Look at this prostitute! Run the <laughs> I should 
You don't want to tell me what's going on. Donald? I do not know what you're talking about. That girl saw you and ran so fast. I mean, if we were not in your parents' house, I would have start thinking you were a ghost. Talk to me, Donald. Again! I do not know what you are talking about. Seven years ago, you and I were back in the UK, doing our masters. Popsy took you. You had to come back to Nigeria. And you came back to the UK after his death and the burial. How come I've been this slow? Why 
can take a think about this connection. What? What connection are you talking about? So is you. How did I not even think that you can still talk about Chidi is my or Chidi? I was back in the UK thinking my ass out and you were here smashing and busy ruining the life of a village girl. Oh, I still do not get what you do. I'm talking about Chino and her son. I bet you didn't know the boy we saw today is your son. How could you? How could you? You made that girl so bitter. You got her pregnant and you dumped her! Ruined her dreams. You made her give up on her dreams. If I didn't know Mama, I would have said who brought you up. Because you are acting like a complete Lucifer. And who told you? Who told you you could toy with a girl's heart like that? Who told you? You better start talking! Education of my boys is not good. Ah, uh -huh. education of my now. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have not known.
That's been an experience. Explain that you could not keep the things in between your legs for a few months. Explain what? That he gave me a ring back in the UK, an engagement ring. I know what even more disrespectful about all of this. We were together as man and woman about to be husband and wife. Go back to the village and instead of looking around with naive village girls, hey, oh. sleeping with village girls. Darling, my relationship with her was hopeless. Well, you know, strings are that. I, I agree, I, I go carried away along the line and then. But that was not my intention. I promise. Listen to yourself talk. But you obviously knew what you were doing. You got honey. And your girl was way out of your reach. And what did you do? Get yourself another. A primitive, naive village girl. To satisfy your sexual urge. Fine. I agree. I have no explanation for what I've done. But, baby, I love you. I love you so much, I cannot leave this life without you. We have been together for so long. Please, I beg you, don't let this come between us. Especially now we're about to legalize our relationship. Please. Our relationship. Yes. When you were pressing up and down, did you think about our relationship? Where was it? Did you even think about it? Baby, I'm sorry. Don't do this to us. <laughs> Thank you. Please don't do this to us. Us. Don't. Baby. Awesome. Please don't do this to us, I think. Do you even think? Do you even think about how this will affect the people in your life? Did you think about it? No. Did you think about it? No, oh, I was not done. I, I, I'm so sorry I made a mistake. No. I, I, I. You made a mistake. Yes. <laughs> you made a mistake. A mistake that ruined an innocent girl's life. A mistake that shattered her dreams. A mistake that made it. Oh, human being. Yes. The world's best dumb reward should go to you. You are very stupid. I'm sorry. Now listen to me. Take time and think about this. And don't you dare come for me. Please, please, please. Please, I beg you. Don't touch me! Listen, I beg you, don't do this to us. I beg you. I beg you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Don't now get I your hands off me. Get the hands off me! I promise you, I'll be this off you. I'll be this off you. I was just coming to call both of you for lunch. Are you going somewhere? Yes, ma'am. Will somebody tell me what is going on? Maybe you should ask your star. Ah! Gee, what is it? Jesus! 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 J
Listen to me. Okay, we can, we can sort this out. I promise you, we can sort this out. Okay. I'm ready to turn and you leave. Okay, I'm ready to turn and you leave. I'm a change person now. Please, Anastasia, I beg you. I beg you, babe, 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 babe. Come on, babe. Babe, 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 Anastasia, Anastasia. Wow. Are you going to tell me what is going on? Okay, can you find me? No, I messed up. Yeah, I messed up big time. So ashamed of myself. <laughs> I picked up on that. It is not fully to this. You came back. And both of you started fighting. Can you find me? You better start talking. Tell me what is happening. I'm up, yes. I'm going to teach you how to cook a phone. Thank you, eh? yeah. And when you learn how to cook it, I will learn how to cook it. Always help your mom in the kitchen. You know, go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you cool down. I'll teach you how to cook a phone. You need to see your puma. You do work in the tofu. Or that I say. Eh? Good. You don't mind me, yeah? So, maybe when we get the money soon, eh? We will knock and see if she will come out. You know, go? I don't know what her problem is. I don't know what happened to her. Eh? She just came in. Good afternoon, Mama. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, my darling? How are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You happy? 
Um, Mama, please first you know. Um, I don't know. She came back not quite long ago and went into her room. She refused to open the door. I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Please, can you let her on here to see her? Hmm? Kindly help me let her on here to see her. Okay. Let me see if she's ready to come out. Thank you. Thank you. You're such a sweet boy. So, so how are you today? I am fine. Chinelu, your friend Anna is here to see you. Chinelu, open the door. She's waiting outside. Chio. She, your friend Anna is here. Oh. Chinelo, open, open. Great. Um, so, what are your favorite things to do? Do you like to play football? Do you like to go fishing? Do you like to go swimming? Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> I love swimming. Can you swim? Yes. Okay, but please don't go to the deep end. Okay. You know what happened when you go to the deep end? It's a cut off. Great. No, it's not cut off. When you go to the deep end, you might get drowned. And when you get drowned, you die. I won't die, you... I'm not good to And when you die, you're not going to go to pursue your dreams. So when you swim, avoid the deep end. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello. My has refused to come out. So maybe you come back another time. It's okay. Just tell us for me when she feels like talking. I will. Thank you for stopping by. See? See, I'm sorry. I didn't know. How long have you guys been together? Nine years. So, you both were together when he... Yes. What even hurts is not um, cheated on. It's what he did to you. It's wrong. And it's against womanhood. I feel so strongly about it. So, what are you going to do? To be honest, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna go away and just clear my head. I never want to see you again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever you decide to do, just know that your happiness is not paramount. I'm lost. What is happening here? Mama. Jim is back. What?
I'll try to come for you just meet my fiance. I bet you didn't know that that boy we saw today with her is your son. Chinelo. Hey, and what are you doing here? Haven't you done enough damages? Mama, I came here to see Chinelo. For what? We need to talk. Talk about what? Mama, I need to see her. It's very important, please. Well, she doesn't want to see you. So I will advise you to leave my house now, or I call the police for you and tell them you are a thief. Out. Leave my house. I hope he's gone forever. <clears throat> but how do you feel that he will not talk when he sees you? But I have nothing to say to her. Nothing. You can't hide from him forever. It's better you see him once and for all. I know what he wants. There's nothing he will say to me that will testify me for what he did. Nothing. So there's no point seeing him. Mommy, who is that man?
Some men really do know how to make love look as though as love is a lie. I trusted you and gave you my heart. How could I have known that you're going to do this to me? Shattered. 
I watch my life up before me. Blessings in my life. Everything about me is happening and better. Jim, my brother, I'm a little more. Just a twinkle of a night. Indeed, I mortgage my life. My love, my everything, for valuable pleasure, for sex. Maybe ten. At most, twenty minutes has cost me nine years of my life. Nine years of love. Nine years. Down the drain. Just like that. Somebody should come and fill my heart and find reasons to capture the contest love. Inhale it and bring it to an abrupt end of its right of existence. The gift of love appreciates when it's lost. You wouldn't know whether to completely let it go or to go back and fight for the one you love. 
which may not rightly belong to you but you fight because you don't want to let go I'm fine. Jade, why are you doing this to yourself? What is all this for God's sake? You think bringing yourself to death will solve anything? What will you have me do? Oh, tell me, mother, what will you have me do? What? I expect you to stand up. And take responsibility of your action. Chida Nechi. I expect you to forgive yourself. I expect you to forgive yourself by taking the blow by the home. Yes. The mother of my son will not see me. And Anastasia will not take my cold. What the hell will you have me do? Should we sit down? No. I understand. You don't need to blame any of them. Even I, your mother, I'm highly disappointed at you. Yes, all these years, you didn't let me know. Please, mother. Do not condemn me. Try. I have just enough for you. I never knew she kept the beach. Oh yeah? Because you asked her to terminate it. Okay? Chili. I didn't think that your father would have loved to know he was expecting a castle. What would you have me do, mother? What would you have me do? How? How am I supposed to make things right? How am I supposed to make the chin and Allow me to see my own son. How am I supposed to make Anastasia forgive me and come back to me? Tell me, mother. Should I don't know? I don't know, but definitely not stuffing yourself with alcohol. Not that. Go into the bathroom. You will think of something. Go and shower. I'll come back and see you.
Yes, ma'am. What's the handsome boy you have? Um, what can we do for you, ma'am? My daughter, I can't see you. We have something very important to discuss. Can I have a seat? Um, no problem. <laughs> you can sit. I was never aware of all this. Until recently, a six years old grandson man, should have come to me. Yes, as a mother. I don't know what to do. I came to the house once after I told him I was pregnant. But the gate man told me that Chidi ordered him not to allow me in. I also tried severally to reach out to you. But I was also denied access. So I, I just assumed that maybe that was your discussion with your son not to see me. Oh, not at all. I'm so, so sorry, my daughter. Very sorry. Okay? It wasn't easy. It was not easy at all. At some point, I even contemplated ending it all. But thank God for my mother and Isioma, my best friend, because they stood by me through it all. Man, I'm truly sorry. Please, I'm picking you. I want to plead with you to find a place in your heart to forgive him. Be gone. Forgive him. There is nothing to forgive. Honestly, nothing. My dear, you have a lot to forgive. Yes, I know you're hot, and just fireably so. I think Chede has realized his mistake. You need to see him now. He's emotionally wrecked. Because of them. I'm begging you. His fiancé has left him. He can't get access to his son. Please. He deserves it. He deserves it. He should be made to feel what it's like to be abandoned by that one person you really care about and love so much when you really need them. Please, I hope you're not here to ask me to forgive him. Though I bear him no grudge, I certainly do not want to see him. I don't want to see him. My dear, everybody deserves a second chance. Should you deserve a second chance? I'm begging you, my daughter. Please. Forgive him. Before he dwells in this misery, be gone. Help me save him. Just look at me. Be good man. I'm not getting any younger. As you can see, I need my grandson back. Please, be good. Oh, wait. What do you people want from me? What do you want me to do? 
grandson are you talking about? The same one he denied even before he was born? Which one? That he fertilized the egg doesn't make him a father. Chidi's mother was here. Mom, what does she want? She came to beg on behalf of her son. I... Do you know she didn't even know that Kanayo existed until recently? He doesn't want you. And he can't let go. But you have to forgive him. What about how I feel? Doesn't it count? It's easy to preach forgiveness, but hard to live by it. Chinoli. You have bought this pain for the past six years. But she this mom, getting to know that she has a grandson after all these years, must be hard on her. And I don't know how I will feel if I were in her shoes. It's not easy. Her son rejected my child and that rejection shattered my life cost me everything I lost everything everything I'm not saying it was your fault that he rejected the child even while still in the womb but I can remember clearly. You two refused to get the child. Yes. It took you six years to accept that child as your son. What are you saying? Mama, what are you saying? Are you now taking sides with my enemies? No. Are you saying that I have an unforgiving spirit even when you know the gravity of the pain and the wound that rejection gave me? You must forgive. You will eventually forgive him. You have to let go. Forgive him and move on. When you forgive and move on, you release yourself from that emotional trauma. Forgive him. Oh. So, you want me to forgive him, just like that? You want me to pretend and act as if nothing happened, right? No problem. No problem at all. Because that is exactly what I am doing. That is why I don't want to see him. That is why I want to forget him. That is why I want him to stay far, far away so that I don't remember what happened yesteryears when I set my eyes on him. Chi? You have to let go. Oh, you must forgive him. 
for the sake of your son and for you to move on. She release him, forgive him, move on. If you don't forgive him, you won't be able to move on. And when you release him from your mind, you you will be light. Bring yourself from that emotional stress. You know, go like a friend Anastasia will say, it's part of the healing process. Hmm? No, no, forgive. You know, go forgive, forgive you, forgive and let go. You cannot move on. You know, go to you. Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. No, 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 Not good. I didn't find her in the house. My neighbors told me she has not been home for days now. And she's not taking my calls. I'm tired of all this. I'm tired. It's okay. Take it easy on yourself, okay? But, Mama, I've tried. I've tried. Did you go to see Chinelo? Yes, I did. How did it go? Chili. That girl is too angry with you. How did you manage to shatter her heart into a thousand pieces? I trained you on how to respect women, didn't I? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. I just don't know how I got myself into this mess. But I know somehow the past will always come knocking. You have to get this right. Yes. Not just for the sake of your son, but because it is the right thing to do. Okay? You have to go and seek for that girl's forgiveness. Let her forgive you first. All that things can follow. Right? It's okay. Cheryl. I said it's okay. Don't you trust your mom again? I do. I do. Come down, okay? I need to be with my son now. You should leave. Not until you tell him that I am his father. Who gave you that nerve to walk into this house and refer to yourself as his father? 
Only when you can understand. How? What right? What right do you have to refer to him as your son? What right? She ain't no messed up. I know it won't you. And you have every right to be mad at me. Come on. All I'm asking is for a chance to make things right. A chance to make up for all the years that I have been absent. A chance to be part of my own son's life. A chance. Oh. I know you are a woman with a beautiful soul. And I can see you struggling with yourself. But deep down, you know that this is the right thing to do. That boy deserves a better life. We need to secure his future. We need to do Everything right for him. Boys, just slow down. Okay? Slow down because you are not in a position to tell me what is right and what is not right here. Yes. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for treating you wrong. You did not deserve the way I treated you. I was selfish. And I'm sorry about that. Please, forgive me. That boy deserves a better life. Let us move on. Move ahead of all this. Please, I beg you. You can change the facts. But you can't change the fact that she I am sorry. From the depths of my heart, I beg you, forgive me. Forgive me. Be focused in life. Just be strong. If a man God knows the best. If a man God, So, how did she let you take him home? I hope you both had an agreement. Hey, come on, Mom. Of course, you know I wouldn't bring him back home without proper arrangement. So, tell me, are you too good now? I'm not sure about that yet. But I know 
He will bring us back together. I work for you, son. Come, come, come here. Hello. I know you are scared. But you don't need to worry about him. I never thought a day like this would come. And honestly, I, I am not prepared for it at all. But then, he cannot be prepared for a lot of things. But somehow, we adapt. Are you sure I am doing the right thing? Yes, of course. I may need his father as much as he needs his mother. I know you are scared Chidi might not be the right kind of father for him. But in my opinion, Chidi has done a lot of growing up these past years. Hmm? You don't need to work. All you have to do is trust him. Oh. I, I honestly wish I could stop worrying. But I, I, I can't. You have to. And I think he still likes you. Hmm? I saw the way he was looking at you. Mama, please, stop putting ideas in your head. Chili is in the past. Please. I hear. Everything just came back to normal, please. But I thought you said you've forgiven me. Then why? I am not going with you, period. Oh. Listen, I, 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 don't, I don't... Just... Look who we have there. Sam. Big man. I hope you're ready for me. Yes, sir. Let's go, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's leave. Huh? Take good care of yourself. Okay, my love. <laughs> All right, time to leave. <laughs> take care of yourself, my love. Of course, I will take care of myself. I wasn't talking to you, I was referring to my son. Bye, mom. I want you to wait for me by the car, okay? Okay, Dad. Yeah. Hey, um, listen. I want you to do me a favor. What thing? I want you to help me talk to Anastasia. I know that you are talking with Anastasia. Please help me tell her to come home. Tell her to take my calls. 
Some wounds really take time to heal. Especially wounds that are inflicted by men like you. Please, take good care of my son for me. And don't teach him how to be selfish. Please. I like the food. Is there a problem, boy? Hmm? Talk to them. It's, it's, it's a nice meal. You should try it. Yeah. Listen, if you don't like this one, you tell me what you want, I'll go get it. Hey, why are you crying? What is it? What is what? What? What's the problem? I want my mommy. Why don't you want to go with me? Mama, I cannot believe you're asking me that question. It's just for a few days. Ah. Mama, please, I cannot go there. He is still the father of your son. This whole thing is still amazing for your son. He doesn't understand what is going on. You need to help him ease into his new life because that is where he belongs. And besides, traditionally, we cannot withhold him from being with his father. Mama, please stop trying to convince me. If there is anybody that belongs there, it is my son. So let him learn how to get used to his new house. That is his fate. We all have our crosses to bear. Ha, huh. I know. But you have to help him. I don't have to do anything. Besides, if he wants to come to the house to see his son, He's always free to do so. Nobody will stop him. In fact, Mama, Biko, I, I, I don't want to continue this conversation again. I suppose if he travels out with your son to a faraway place where you can never see him again.
She didn't agree to come with you. Yes. I knew it's going to be difficult for her to agree. But don't give up son. Keep trying, okay? Okay? I just want my son to be comfortable around me. To see me as his father. Is that too difficult to ask? Calm down, son. Let us hope she will be convinced and comes back and stay with us now. Oh. She insists I come over to her house to see him every day. How is he supposed to get used to me as his father? It's not enough to say, hey, now your dad is your father. I want him to see me as one. He will. Just a matter of time. Oh. Time. How much time? How long am I supposed to wait? This is more difficult than I thought. It's okay. Please give us some time. Oh. Anne, were you expecting somebody else? Uh, um, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm happy to see you. You're welcome. Oh, um, you did not call the car. What's happening? Mom, the car is at the mechanic. Oh. Good afternoon. Welcome, Welcome. Why are you just staring? You're not even hugging me and stuff. Oh, oh hey. I. Ah. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too. Thank you very much for coming back. Okay? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, now you're here. It's time to eat lunch, so? So I came at the right time. Mm -hmm. It's good to <laughs> So I'll just go freshen up. Okay. And I missed you, Kissy. Okay. So, how are you? Um, yes, Mom. Thank you very much for coming back. It was a mess in your absence. I'm glad I came back. Because I thought about it and I realized trust is always going to be an issue. But to be quite hard for I won't forget. I've just decided to put everything behind me. Right now? Right. I must tell you. So, at this job job, I like to say, let's try to first start. We'll do drinks later. So, <laughs> so press that. You 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 press, press that. Tastes like wine, though. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> 
I couldn't bear the emptiness of day without you. I waited for you for so long. And now you're here and please look you're not here. I miss you so much, baby. Are you okay? I think you like this one. You look fine. Thank you, Dad. I'll um, say hi to your grandmother. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, sir. Thank you so much. You've made my day. <laughs> no. Um, good afternoon, Good afternoon to my mom. It's so good to see you. So good to see you too. <laughs> I didn't know you came out. Um, my bad. I was trying to come see you later this evening, so we'll talk some things over. Oh, really? Hey. Thank you. Hey, son. Um, why don't you come with Daddy so I'll show you to your room? Okay, Dad. Get. Let's go. But mom is coming with you. Ah. Ah. So, um, I've been wondering why you haven't been coming to see me. So many days. So many. Good. Really? Yes. Wow. I don't need to say that to you because you get it all the time. Mm. You're doing great. <laughs> anyway, you're doing great. And I'm so proud of you. So chill. Hey, someone. She's fine. Come. Thank you for coming, okay? Hey, you said you were in suit. What's going on? How? You mean, Nego and Nayo? Yes. Listen, I just want to be my son, okay? I'm Well, that is because it is the only reason why my own has agreed to stay with me comfortably. Comfortably, huh? Hey, it's just for a few days. Okay? Listen. You have nothing to worry about. 
it is you that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Huh? Fine, it's okay, you don't have to explain. You know, I always trust me to go to. I'm so sorry I blanked out for this while. I just needed time to play my game. I'm just glad you're both back together. Like, I couldn't have imagined me being the cause of your breakup. And there's no way I would have forgiven myself if you did not come back together with him. It's not your fault. And I'm so happy things are working out between you both now. <laughs> well, it has to be that way for the sake of our son. We mustn't be friends again. The way he helped you or oh, please, he was just carried away. He didn't think I would come. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing there. When you break a rope and tie it back together, the length shortens. It's never the same again. I get your point. And I'm so happy for this new you. And the radiating and I'm just, I'm just <laughs> happy you found yourself again. Thank you. And I owe you all the appreciation. Thank you so much. And I hope someday you'll find a man that will love you just the way you Ah, please. Finding a man is the least of my problems right now. I just want to go back to school and achieve my dreams. Mm. Besides, the main reason for marriage is to have children. I already have one, so I don't think men should be my problem right now. Don't worry. You can achieve anything you set your mind to achieve. Always remember that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everything. Thank you. Thank you for forgiving my baby. <laughs> Thank you. Food is delicious. Mm. Thank you. Demand that you will be a lucky man. Should I marry right? Oh, oh, yes. Not bad. The food is a blast. Mm-hmm. Should I be alright? The food is quite tasty. <laughs> you have to take me out to make some of these things. We're so encouraged to be this girl who's in the UK that. I doubt if I can buy any recipe at all. I'm so engrossed with this is getting the way you get that. I barely remember any recipe at all. <laughs> so how then do you do? Let's try. Oh. Oh, we order for food. I mean, go and the basement, cooking in the kitchen is the most in every woman to do this. <laughs> it's okay. Whenever you're ready, I'll teach you how to cook any food of your choice. I trust you. <laughs> now you like your food? Yeah, I like it. You like it? <laughs> I like it. I can't do that. <laughs> That's my boy. Is it good? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. You're good. Mm. Thank you very much for the reading. 
and acceptance of God. Do you need some help? Uh, no, 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 I don't. Thank you very much. I'm really sorry. I'm so... Uh, please. So, so please, sorry. Can, can you stop apologizing? It's actually taking us back. Please. The idea is for us to forget. And if you keep apologizing, you can't do that. Apologies only redress the issue. It doesn't heal it. So please just stop. Stop. How do I make things right again? You're already doing that. You're becoming a good father to my son. What more can I ask for? You know my mother was right. She said any man who loves you will be the luckiest man in life. You know my mother was right. She said any man who ends up with you will be the luckiest man in it. You didn't have this sentiment years ago. Um, 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 please, please, um, uh, just turn it down. I mean, these words of yours are making you uncomfortable. I guess I was stupid back then. Yes, you were. But I forgive you. You're really making me uncomfortable. Baby. Mm -hmm. You're here. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, you see, I... I came to make sure... She's comfortable with us. Mom, I am fine. She's fine. She's fine. Great. Chinebo, how about you taking two to a Ah, uh, I just, I'll just leave you two, okay? <laughs> What are you talking about, darling? I'm saying I'm getting really uncomfortable with the way you're engrossed with this whole chin in the thing. Babe. Don't talk like that. Okay? You see, um, I'm just worried that she reminds me of the past so much. Let the past be the past. I let it present Harry. No, my mom is looking for you. What? I am 
No, there's no problem. I'm not doing anything in here. So it's better for me to leave. Imana is sleeping. He can spend the night here. Then I'll be here tomorrow to pick him up if the need arises. <laughs> you are here as well. I know he's so fond of you, so I'm very sure you can manage without me. But Chinelo, that was not the agreement. Please, can we not argue about this now? Let's not just argue. Uh, Mama, thank you. Thank you for your hospitality. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Anne, please, take care of my canary, please. Sure, trust me, I will. And I'll come see you later, so we'll talk. Oh, that will be fine. No problem. Take care of yourself, okay? Um, Jim. Now it comes to your mom. Do take care of yourself, okay? Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's okay. Everything is fine, okay? Bye. They're not cold. <laughs> Listen, I am not worried about her, okay? I'm just worried I might not be able to spend enough time with my son. How do we destroy my life? Babe, why are we even having this conversation? She decided to leave. I didn't ask her to go. What? Could you say so? Tell me. Tell me. It is you I love. It is you I want to spend forever with. So as long as I have you, and I have access to my son, then I'm fine. Okay? Fine. I don't doubt you. I trust you and you know you always have my support and trust. Thank you.
Mama, good afternoon. What happened to whom early? And where is Anna? He's still with his father. How do you open the problem? No. I just became uncomfortable, so I had to leave. What do you mean you became uncomfortable? Forget that, you know. They wanted to finish me with so much exercise. Hmm. I'm telling you, you need to have seen how that camp is so tedious, so much work. But you don't look like you're about to die. Eh. No. Instead, you're glowing. Really? Shining. Hey, oh. one of them say, <laughs> What is the secret? It's just God, though. Ah. And a, it's a whole lot of mm -mm. exercise. I like on a monachuku. <laughs> Everybody, just God, though. That is what I hear all the time. It's just God though. It's just God though. <laughs> Even when they steal, it's just God though. Please tell me your secret, John. You know, I do not have any secret. Believe me. But I think it's just all about my body, my gym. Chai. Yes. Chai. But wait a minute. Where is Nayo? I really missed him. Mm. Nayo is with his father. His father? <laughs> My friend, I have plenty gist for you. As in, plenty gist. Sit down, sit down. Eee! Sit down. Eee! A lot has eh? happened. A lot has happened. Eh? <laughs> Biku, 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 just go ahead. My ears are itching already. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the gist. The summary of the whole thing is that. Chili is back. Chidi. Your chidi. No, 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 no. He's not my chidi. He's just the father of my child. But we get along very well now. Ooh. When you say you get along well, does that mean you both are back together? <laughs> no, not that too. And it can't even happen. We're just two individuals that have something in common. Same parents different people really <laughs> it was not easy initially you i could not lie hmm. it was not easy at all but i realized that he's really sorry for what he did so i decided to forgive him so me too i can have my peace of mind <laughs> ah. so in other words you guys are back together <laughs> don't put words into my mouth easy why not? <laughs> it can't even happen. Because he has someone else he wants to marry. And you know her. <laughs> Who? Anastasia. Wait a minute. Anastasia that... Exactly. And apparently, they have been together for nine years. Oh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Why are men like this? Why this? 
in other words they were actually dating and he came down here to mess around with you exactly what it's all in the past now i mean last last we are we are all right you know yeah, it's, it's fine yeah. we are all right very very all right, <laughs> yeah, all right. so yeah, let me ask you now if chidi had asked for you both to come back together yes. you know lovers you know would you accept uh, did you buy tiger nuts for me from the nuts Chinelo, answer my question i bought a i bought Hey, hey. What are we celebrating? What's the occasion? Hmm. Okay. Darling. Mm -hmm. We have been together for years now. I couldn't have asked for a better companion than you. So now. I think it is time to seal our union. <laughs> Anastasia, I love you so much. I want to spend forever with you. I want to wake up next year. <laughs> All the days of my life. I want to be beautiful kids with you. So I beg you. Please. Be my wife. Let us grow old together. Oh my god. 
What is he doing here? Exactly. Why are we here? Chinelo. I know you never stopped loving Chile. And Chile, even though you don't want to admit it, you're falling in love with Chile, knowing she has your son. What are you talking about? What's going on here? I see the way people stare at each other. You call out her name in your sleep. You are brightened up the moment her name is mentioned. Um, you are mistaken. You are mistaken. I know you want to marry me because you think we've been together for so many years. And leaving me to marry another would be wrong. What are you saying? Girl, what is going on? Exactly. What are you saying? This is harder than you think. I could go ahead and accept your proposal, but what benefit will it be to me knowing that I'm marrying someone whose heart belongs to another? Anne! We find love in unexpected places and people. And sometimes you don't have control over the issues of the heart. I love you, Donald. I love you too, baby. But I have to let go. I can't let you make another mistake simply because you want to make me feel better. Thank you, Papa. Please. Not only do I know that you love him, but I also know that you trust my judgment. And in all sincerity, I love to see you both do forever. If you really have the interest of Kanayo at heart. I know mine him will be one of your dreams come true.
just a cozy evil. I should have none. I should have none. Not by yet. Not by yet. Sick of I should have none. Uh-huh. Education of my boys in office. Uh-huh. Education of my now. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have known Oh